Yo, what up, man? You live to air. Yeah, we're here. You know what I mean? We're gonna figure out what's going on. There's a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. It's good to see. Northview Heights. Heights. We're basically here in Northview Heights, um, having a community discussion about the all black focused schools and we're gonna see where it goes from here, man. It's going from Africa TV. Mm. You're live to air, man, right now. We're live. I'm just good to see you guys are here to record this. We're gonna put it up on the Facebook. That's right. Um, African centered schools, check the group and you know, say what you gotta say. These guys are gonna do some recording. And we got our own media right now, so we're doing it big. All right. Yeah. It is not segregation. 
So there was no disagreement. So people who were using segregation to describe what it is were using like a pejorative stereotype and short comments that a lot of people they thought throw up in order to block it. Yes. 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 Based on the definition by the Toronto District School Board, the argument that an Afrocentric alternative school is segregation is not valid, as it is open to all students. There are many that oppose this idea based on a negative discussion surrounding this issue. However, many fail to see the positive that may come from an African-centric alternative school. We are concerned about this not being a, uh, a school where it's pe for people with political aspirations just throwing out an idea hoping that, hey, everything's going to work out and it's just comes to the service. We've had enough of the service at this point in time. Okay? Now, on the, the no side, basically, they just look at it as a step backwards. This is not going to be a joke Okay, the school is not going to be set up and solve all the problems that currently exist within the black community. Okay, uh, they've also determined that parents need to be more involved in the education and development of their children. Okay, 